Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Karan, and welcome back to my channel again. My channel is Grand Prix. Hope everyone is fit, fine, and take care of themselves. So, guys, today we are discussing about the special round, which is uh, uh, in which a lot of parents and students are having confusion that what about the special round and what will be happening after third round, whether we'll be getting a uh, you know option for the third round or not. So, today we'll be discussing on that only. So, if you see last year, page number 20. Uh, right uh, at my left i'll try to show you as well so last year page number 20 special round they had clearly mentioned that registered el registered eligibility applicants who have already paid the fees but not got any college the earlier will be considered for the special round so they had clearly mentioned that registered candidate who had not availed any seat in the earlier means first second third round they had not got any seat in the allotment they are only eligible for the allotment and the applicants need to fill a fresh choice filling earlier before first round to would clear applicants who have declined the allotment or withdraw cancel the applicants at any stage not eligible for the special round okay the applicants need to fill a fresh choice filling okay and choice filled earlier before first round would be cleared applicants who have declined their allotment or withdrawn cancelled their applications any stage are not eligible so if you had not got any seat the first thing or if you have you know uh, till third round you had like applicants who have declined their allotment or withdrawn cancellation their uh, applicants then if you have done the cancellation and withdraw from the counseling then also you are not eligible for the third round uh, there's another thing which they had mentioned application are logging in the portal special round will have two options participate in the special round and exit the candidate who opt for the participation will have to fill choice filling and lock their choice right so once you are going for the uh, you know this uh, special round firstly the thing is that you have to check your eligibility if you have got any college allotment already then you are not eligible they clearly mentioned i will repeat it again applicants who already paid the fees but not got any allotment in the earlier round will consider for the allotment in the special round if you have not got any allotment then only you are eligible okay applicants after the logging in once you are done with that thing then after logging in you will be finding if you have not received any allotment then you will be having a participation in the special round there you can participate and do you can do the choice filling again so you will what will be happening you will be getting a seat no, no vacant seat uh, list by the time and as per that you can do the choice filling again and you can get the college if you see there is another option of interest sliding Interest sliding would be conducted for all the admitted candidates on the date mentioned schedule. On the basis, interest selection mentioned vacancy exists in a particular institute on completion of the admission process. The original choice of the branch filled by candidates only be considered and no fresh choice filling uh, will be there. Okay, so interest sliding is basically you can slide your choices in particular college. So suppose you had put computer science in Trichy and EC in Trichy and you got Trichy easy right so interest sliding is only possible in the particular college right if the if you had not uh, you know have the you know the same college you had not put then that option is there's no of no use so that is for the interest sliding right so these are the two cases where everyone was you know getting confused i hope now i make it clear if you have any queries you want to go for the individual counseling you can join us and by the time thank you have a great day ahead